Hey people, welcome back to Spore, and uh, as you can see, uh, Planet WG Mon is gone. Well, um, I went to go back to recording this, and the entire data was lost. So I'm going to just start on the creature stage here, and gonna make it back into a carnivore. Uh, and yeah, I'm gonna make this back to Planet Wijimon. Um, <laughs> as you can see, uh, all the templates and everything else, I didn't actually get to create any creature for that, so, um, yeah. Data was corrupt, and now I will create Splaroth. Okay. So how are you guys doing? Um, see, I'm not really good at this. I'm really sitting around to it. Um, see, no, no. Uh, you can move everything around. You can adjust the uh, length of it by pulling the arrows. You can adjust the other stuff. I just not fun. And yeah, so I'm um, gonna make it uh, two legs for now gonna give it the uh, few abilities and uh, what am I doing here? Okay. Uh, I really sure how I should make this, but um, whatever I do, I hope you guys like. See how this goes. Uh, I'm gonna use this type of link because it's not big bad. Uh, the links have a little strip to go for. Also, I uh, really see the adjusting thickness based on the uh, based on the based on the size of the vertebrae. Probably gonna need to adjust the top part of the head here, which I really can't. It's only gonna make the bottom part of the head larger. And uh, I'm gonna put the mouth a little bit farther down of it. Uh, see, uh, but I gotta make it wider, so I've gotta have that small, disgusting lump. I wish it would grow up. Well. As, as well, or I could uh, somehow shape it to where it was up as well. And, uh, oh well, doesn't matter. I'm gonna give it uh, these eyes. Give it the googly eyes. I can also make those smaller, but uh, why? Why should I? Honestly, why should I? Anyway, um, so I'm not going to be doing the entire run here. Uh, sprint. I actually like the way that looks, so yeah, I'll that here. But anyway, um, yeah, I'm not going to be doing the entire, um, life stage in this video, um, just because that would take way too long with the creature creation. Uh, it doesn't need jump. It does need spit. Spit. Yeah, I'll put it on the knees. Uh, you can test drive the animal as well, but I don't want to do that right now, so I won't. And I'm also going to give it charge. Yes, charge whenever you're a carnivore is inf infinitely useful. So, um, yeah. Hope you guys really like what you see here. And, uh, yeah. Gonna change the colors a little bit. It's still gonna be blue. Blue's definitely the default color. But, uh, gonna change the, uh, textures. Uh, no, not quite that. Oh, maybe it is. 
Anyway, I'm um, going to add... No, not that. Especially not that. Burgundy is definitely not their color. Um, red racing stripe, cool. Uh, ooh, tiger stripes. I kind of like the idea of making a stripe, but uh, I don't exactly like those stripes. And I know I can change color on the stripes, I just don't feel like it right now. I'm looking for the right thing. Uh, let's just make it scaled. I'll give it the black again. Uh, no, not exactly what I want. But yeah, uh, the first at least five minutes of this is just going to be me screwing around with character creator, so... Hope you guys enjoy. So, just random character creator concept. This is, uh, our play realm. I'm gonna lighten this up just a little bit. Well, I guess darken it first. And, uh, we'll just keep going here for a while. And find uh, the right type of feet for them. Actually, uh, we'll, we'll see. or gray or something, so... So, yeah, Slay Rom. Um... <laughs> uh... I'm just gonna leave the name the same way. Uh, I'm gonna name the planet, actually, WGMon 2.0. So, here we go. And second attempt at the species. Rather, first attempt at land walking species. Um, and yeah, don't don't get used to me inputting a description unless something incredibly bad happens and I can't really do anything about that. So here we go. Normal and WG Mon to. Point oh. No, not 20. Uh, I guess I can't use points. But I can use spaces, and I'll just leave it at 2. WGMon 2. Yeah, I, I really hate that I uh, had that corruption. And uh, hopefully, whenever I go to record the last part of this, as well as the last part of... Uh, or the next part, the tribe stage... Uh, hopefully, hopefully, fingers crossed, uh, I won't have this uh, to happen. And next few times, whenever I'm actually going through uh, these stages, I'm going to actually start cutting out these loading screens. Why? Because I can. <laughs> and uh, there we go, rising out of the ocean. I also might start... Uh, cutting some of the uh, creature builder, but, um, I mean, I, I should probably have done that here, but at the same time, part of the fun is just getting in and building a creature. Um, and this is part one of two for this particular recording, Early Land, part, yeah, Early Land, first half is what I'm going to say it whenever it's actually, like, first, uh, first try or so, uh, try it or something like that. Um, and here I go. Walking on the land, you use AS, to, uh, AS, or, you use WAS to move. Uh, right-click on those to do everything else. You can actually use the mouse to move, but, uh, I don't recommend it. You move the mouse with, I think, right-click or a shift click, something like that, 
Um, since I'm a carnivore, I'm not going to be eating meat, or not going to be eating fruits. And I am looking for uh, bones. Bones get you extra things. Also, destroying other creatures gets you things that you can evolve with. It is much easier if you're a warlike uh, race to uh, to level up. Because then you don't have to, you know, dance and sing and, you know, do all these other things so that people will like you. Said there's charge. Also, uh, one, two, and four are what I'm using to attack. One is bite, two is charge, four is spit. Spit uh, leaves some active poison residue. And, um, bite is like it's one of all charge you can only use from a distance. Like, uh, I'm gonna go after this alpha. Uh, go. Oh crap, I have uh, low health. Oh, it's low health. I'm probably not gonna live. I can do this. Four, five, one, uh. I will get you. You will be destroyed. I'm not guaranteed that, uh, guaranteeing this will be a perfect playthrough. I think even on the easiest settings, if you're a carnivore, you're gonna make mistakes. And since it's been a little while since I've played, I'm definitely gonna make mistakes. This is gonna teach me how to do charge and spit, which didn't have to tell me how to do this. <sighs> Honestly. considering that I was already using those abilities and it was kind of born with them. But it does that with everything. Also, there's a thing in the middle that's blacked out which is only available if you do the cell stage. That is, uh, call, call a swarm or call a, uh, yeah, it, it's call, it's basically call friends. And, uh, also, the reason that I died last time is because I forgot to eat my kill. Yeah. See how my health is at five? And there. I just eat a little bit. Pull everything again. Right over there. Right on the bottom right hand corner. And now I've got one more to kill. For the mission. Or is it two more? I don't remember. Just starting off with bite. Spit. Bite. Spit. Bite. Since both of these are level 1, uh, it doesn't do much damage, but uh, the, the, the more I do, the better it goes, and I'm basically hunting everything to extinction here. And, um, also, uh, whenever you've extincted a race, as you saw the green hel uh, health spheres, or green health pluses, those come up uh, whenever you do that. You extinct a race, you can use their nest to uh, to heal yourself. Again, this is just a carnivore run. If people are actually really interested, I'll do another run with uh, with herbivores and everything else. My my stuff's automatically uploaded to Maxis. I'm connected. You guys don't know my email address, but I could probably give you. Um, well, you you've probably seen the name for my uh, creator uh, creations, and they're all without updates, so. Take that as you may, but if you want any of my creations in your game, go ahead, find them. Download them. I'll advocate that. And, uh, yeah, since I'm already pretty much... These are all pretty much created by other people. I may as well, you know, let my own creations get killed, or let my own creations speak for themselves. And if you end up with a lot of my early creations, fine. Uh, I don't mind you taking my early creations. I don't mind you guys taking my uh, late creations or anything like that. I didn't really play this game that much, so my creations aren't uh, aren't the best, as I keep saying. But you guys are free to them if you want them. I've got a uh, got another creation going on right now on a uh, different thing, and I got ex. Extremely lucky there because I think, uh, went after the alpha first, but uh, hey, I'm not going to complain.
uh, down at the bottom there's the green bar. The green bar is actually the, uh, not, not the experience bar, but it's the experience bar. It's uh, exactly what you need to get up to, um, get up to the next, uh, brain area. So, where you can actually start getting, uh, allies into your party. You, the max is gonna be three. But, uh, you do that, you actually start ganging up on, uh, bigger things, uh, bigger things than you, and, uh, yeah, you end up, uh, you end up making this a lot easier on yourself. Also, that's where uh, you kind of get more stuff. Anyway, you don't get really much more anything except for, oh, I get more uh, brain power, I get more everything else. I think if you get herbivore, you get uh, higher brain than anything else, but I'm not exactly sure on that. Omnivore is actually a fairly easy path, but you, it's kind of what I believe to be the hardest path to get. If that makes sense, you gotta, you, you've got to, um, you've got to eat just about the exact same amount of everything whenever you're in the self stage. So the only reason that uh, I have actually played all three of them once only once though is because I started out herbivore I kept the same mouth which makes you unable to eat meat I started out carnivore and I kept the same mouth which makes you unable to, unable to eat uh, there's the first little brain implant I will say I guess implant but uh, yeah your brain got bigger because you ate a lot of people and you beat them up. Which I think is fitting for human evolution. Uh, honestly. Uh, I don't really need to eat this guy, but it's a good habit to get into is just to go over and eat what you can when you can. And, uh, since these things fear me outright, I'll just dig up these, uh, these pieces. And then attack. Well, attack the baby. Because it doesn't matter, it just gives you three that you're supposed to kill. Anyway, we're nearing the end of part one here. Or part one of two, or part one of the. You guys should understand this game actually takes a long while. So, in other words, part of being told of the entire Let's Play. It's weird. Because the game is actually broken up in stages, it's weird. And I can't target them because I think they're just tuned for the next stage of evolution. And apparently that did didn't work. Ooh, new mouth. Anyway, um... I'm just surprised that I can't attack these. Because I've seen them in my other game that I've got now, too. And they just look like they should be able to be attacked. Anyway, uh, going back to the nest. Uh, there's a mini map in the lower left. If you couldn't tell, it tells you green is home. Green is your home. And this is where you call a mate. I also missed it, so it's just a seashell. Can't do anything with it. Um, I guess I'm going to wander around before I show you how to call a mate. But there's a mating call right in the uh, center there. If you don't automatically see one with hearts like that. If you see one with hearts, you click on it and you automatically uh, mate. And... You know what, I'm actually, I made you guys sit through all that first one, getting created. I'm not going to make you sit through the entire second one, I'm going to add that on to the next episode, so I'll see you guys then.